Are you looking for a free platform to start trading online? Let's discover MetaTrader, a free open source application to perform technical analysis and trading operations in the forex and exchange markets. Before diving into MetaTrader features, let's explore how to get started. You can use the web terminal version to start instantly, download and install the desktop version for free from the official website. Alternatively, consider using a platform like Elestio to deploy MetaTrader on your own server or preferred cloud provider. We take care of the installation, backups, updates and maintenance, enabling you to run trading bots 24-7 without worrying to open or close your positions at the perfect time. A quick reminder, trading in the forex and exchange markets involves significant risk and may result in financial loss. Only invest funds you can afford to lose. To install MetaTrader 5 with our platform, head to ls.io and click on login. Then deploy my first service, search for MetaTrader, click on select, choose between the different cloud providers or the last option, which is to use your existing server. I will stick to Headsnare for this video. Choose between the different regions and service plans based on your need. And then next, you can adjust more advanced configuration. Choose between different levels of support. The first one is included and free by default. And then create service. Once the installation is finished, you will receive this email telling you that your instance is now ready. Follow the click here to get the password link. You arrive on Elestio administration dashboard for your MetaTrader instance. Copy the password in your clipboard. The username will be root and open MetaTrader. OK, so root and paste the password, then sign in. And because it is an application and not a web application that runs on your browser, with Elestio, we host it on an Ubuntu server. So you arrive on your desktop that you can use for other things if you want and open MetaTrader. Because initially it was done for Windows, to run it, it needs one. So you just accept the installation. It will take a few seconds to configure everything. And MetaTrader will open for the first time. So first you need to choose a broker. I will keep the default one. We just want a demo account for this video. And if you are new to trading, also use demo account before creating a real one for live trading. So let's create a demo account, hit next. Basically, what is a demo account? It's using the same live market with the real data, real value. So you can train and try before putting real money and winning or losing it. Okay, so first name, LS. Io, I need an email that works because they will send us a configuration code. For the mobile phone, it's not so important. You can just type a fake one. Then the server. When you create a real account, they will tell you which server and which account type to use. Because we are using a demo account, you can keep the default one. You choose the amount of deposit you want. Even if it's a demo account, it's good to use the same amount with what you will really deposit later. So you train yourself on a comparable scenario. Okay, then you can adjust the leverage. We will keep it to 1,400. You agree. And next. Now it sends me an email with the confirmation code. I paste it. They give me my credentials. You need to save them somewhere if you want to connect, for example, using another client later and then finish. And you arrive on MetaTrader for the first time. You arrive on this quite old style interface that can feel a bit overwhelming when you are beginning. But do not worry, the more you will use it, the more you will feel comfortable with it. What you see currently on the top right is a chart. Let's close it and let's see how we open a chart. On this box on the left, you have market watch where you can add all the symbols you want to look at. So if you click, you can type the name. I already have a few and a few are here by default. You have the main one of the Forex, for example, Euro and Japanese Yen. I can drag and drop it here and it will open the graph. But it's not only Forex. For example, I have US 30, which is an index or Tesla, which is the stock market. Inside a graph, you can zoom to see more precisely the data. With your mouse, you can drag and drop so you can see more on the past and the values. You can adjust to the type of things you'd like to see, either bar charts, candlesticks, or line chart. Usually I use candlesticks. It's easier to see what is happening. And currently we are in H1 mode. What it means is one candle is one hour. 
So if we want the big picture, we would switch maybe to day, so daily, and each candle will be a day. So you can zoom out and see the long term what is happening. But if you are doing day trading and you are looking for very quick transactions, you can switch by five minutes. So it's better to zoom in. So every bar will be representing five minutes or you can even switch by minutes. It really depends on what you are trading and how you are trading. Okay, so these are the data of the Euro and Japanese Yen over time and you have the value at what current price it is traded. But how do you trade? You can just look at the data and say, okay, it's going up or down. But to be able to develop a strategy, people use indicators. So here you have a list of existing indicators you can drag and drop into your graph. For example, you want the trend, you can drag and drop the adapting moving average Drag and drop it to your graph. You can adjust a few parameters, the period, change some display colors and so on. OK. And here you have the moving average. So you can see if you are above or below it. You can use other indicators, for example, oscillators. A famous one is the relative strength index. Drag and drop it. Again, you can adjust some parameters. OK. And this one will add another graph below with a percentage going from zero to 100. By minutes, it's always between 50%. Maybe if we switch to M5 or M15. Okay, and let's zoom out a bit. Okay, so here we have a bigger picture of what is happening. And there are some strategies based on this index. If the RSI is above 70%, people will say it is overbought. So you should sell it to make some profit because the price will go down. And if we watch here, it's a bit what is happening. So if you sell it here, here because the price will go down you will make some profit let's check if we have the opposite yes we have it here if it goes below 30 it's the opposite so you can buy here and you can expect it the price to move up which if we look it is what happened after this is a very simple strategy that doesn't work 100% of the time. So you will need to create a strong strategy based on what you will see and by using more indicators. But when you develop a strategy, maybe you want to apply it not by being in front of your computer 24 seven. Instead, what you can do is to create bot that will apply your strategy automatically for you or just to assist you doing trading. And MetaTrader is one of the best platform to create trading bots. So if you look in the bottom zone here, you can see that we have an expert loaded. So by default, there are a few experts that we can use. They are bots and you can create your bots. So they provide some examples and free robots. Let's take the first one, Black Crow's White Soldiers. And to have a look at the code and to be able to edit it, we can open their IDE. This is MetaTrader code editor where you can write MQL5 script, which is the language used to write bots. You have the documentation to learn how to write code, but it's pretty simple. If you are experienced with programming, it will be very straightforward. And of course, you can use the existing examples as starting point to start building your own bot based on that. We won't have a look at the whole code, but you can see they have on in it where they set up the bot. They have a few functions like this, on tick and so on. But what interests us is to see the logic to decide to open a position or to close a position. So they have this function named check pattern that has a few conditions based on different indices. And based on this, we don't care about what it is currently, but they will decide that they see a signal to sell or the opposite to buy. It could be what I just said earlier. If it's above 70% on the RSI, we will decide to sell. If it's below, we will decide to buy. They are just using different data to take their decision. And based on that, they have a function named position open. It will look at the signal. If it sees a signal to buy or one to sell, it will open or close position. Okay, so now before running our bot, on real data or even on the demo account, we want to backtest it. It's something very useful with MetaTrader that allow you to try your bot on past data. So if it works on the past or if it doesn't, 
you will know what to expect for the future even if it's not a guarantee to have profit. If it crashes a lot on the past, you won't feel confident to put it live. So to run it, you choose your expert, the symbol, let's keep Euro USD. You choose the time frame on which it's run and you can choose the period. So currently it's 2023 to 2024, but you can adjust the day to run it for many, many years. Then on your experts, often you have a few parameters you can adjust. They depend on the code of your expert. And then on the bottom left, you can start in test mode your agent. You can click on graph and you will see what it has done in the past. So from 2023 to 2024, you can see it started at 10,000, then it lost a little and then lost again. So not the best bot. To get more detail, you can go to backtest and here you have all the data of what happened. Maybe the configuration is a bit wrong because it only made two trades in a whole year, which is not a lot. But this video is more to show you the platform that to provide you a working bot for trading. So let's say we are happy with our bot. And when it's the case, in the graph here, you need to select the one you want to run your bot on. And in Expert Advisor, you can drag and drop your expert. And this time it will start trading for you like it did in the backtest, but this time in live data. You can choose the different parameters like you did for the test, but this time for the bot running live. Click OK and you will see on the top right that your bot is running and it will start to do trade like when it was doing it in test mode. But do not worry, we are still on a demo account so it will open and close trade till with fake money. If you are not confident to create your bot yourself, there is an official marketplace on MQL5 website where you can purchase different bots. But be careful when doing it. Be sure that the reviews are good and also to backtest it. But I think the best is to create your strategy based on what you want to do and what you believe in. And to check your current trade from everywhere, you can download one of the clients on MetaTrader website, for example, the iOS or Android one, so you can check your current trade on the go. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed discovering MetaTrader with us. Please hit the like button to help our channel be more visible to other open source lovers. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss our next platform overviews. If you want to continue your open source journey, watch this video available here.